Whales exploit the ocean's deep sound channel, long before navies did, to send calls across ocean basins. Near the surface, signals scatter off air, sea, and seafloor boundaries. But at depth, refraction traps acoustic energy so fin whale calls can cross over 3,700 miles, versus approximately 150 miles at the surface. Professor Christopher Clark notes, blue whales off Ireland can be heard by a hydrophone in Virginia. Baleen whales also navigate by reading far-off echoes to build acoustic maps, a process akin to echo mapping rather than echolocation. Because sound travels approximately 15 miles per minute, echoes from a distant shelf can take around 20 minutes round trip. Baleen whales produce the loudest animal sounds, blue whale around 180 decibels, and the longest songs. Male humpbacks repeat around 10 minute themes for hours, even up to 23 hours, and share evolving regional anthems. 10 million songs of the humpback whale records were inserted into National Geographic in 1979. Whale song was first documented in the 1950s by US listeners hunting Soviet subs. Recordings passed in 1967 to biologist Roger Payne, who publicized humpback choruses in 1970. Public awe helped drive the 1972 UN call for a 10-year commercial whaling moratorium, an instance of military surveillance catalyzing marine conservation. Ancient sailors heard them unknowingly, 